I wanted to put together a quick video for you guys for calculus for the chain rule with the trig functions. Remember there are three types and I have them broken up here with the different types and starting off with uh, type 1 here where the angle is bigger than X. Uh, so if you notice here right away we have Y equals sine of 2X and what you do is you take the derivative of the whole thing so you going to have y prime here. The derivative of sine is cosine. So I'm going to write down the cosine of 2x. Then I just need to multiply it by the derivative of the angle, which is 2. So my final derivative, y prime, is 2 cosine 2x. Looking at one where the angle is a little bit bigger than just something as simple as 2x, we got y equals tangent of 3x cubed. Well, starting this off here again, the chain rule, What's the derivative of tangent? Well, that's secant squared of 3x cubed. And then I need to multiply by the derivative of the angle, which by power rule is going to be 9x squared. So writing that, so I have things in order here. I'm going to have 9x squared times secant squared of 3x cubed. So that's type 1 for the trig derivatives where the angle is something bigger than just x. And then if I scroll down here, we're going to start off here with type 2 where the trig function is raised to a power. Okay, so notice here I've got secant squared of x. And what I want to do in order to apply the chain rules, I'm going to pull out the power and write it with parentheses. So secant of x squared. This way when I go to take the derivative I bring the power down so I'm going to have 2 secant x subtract power by 1 so that's just going to be 1 and then I multiply by the derivative of the inside the derivative of secant is secant tangent so secant x tangent x so my final when I multiply this all out I know it's going to be 2 y prime there secant squared x because secant times secant and then times tangent x. Here's another one. We've got cosine cubed and again I'm going to take the cube, I'm going to pull it out, write it with parentheses here. So I've got a cosine of x quantity cubed and then by power rule the 3 will come down cosine of x squared times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then putting this all together, I'm going to wind up with negative 3, that negative and that 3 right there. Cosine squared of x, I'll put that square back with the function, times sine x. So there's your derivative for that one. So that's type 2 where the trig function is raised to a power. And now finally, type 3, where we're going to have both the angle and the power for the function that's bigger. So it still starts off here by taking the power for the function out. So for y prime, I'll, I'll just y right now actually, the way I'll make sure that I rewrite this first, is that I'll have the sine of 5x quantity squared. Now I'll apply the derivative here with the power rule. So 2 sine of 5x to the first times the derivative of what's inside, which turns into a type 1. The derivative of sine is cosine. And then i got to multiply by the derivative of the angle. Now the one thing is every time you have a type 3, you should have like four factors you can find here. So there's right here we can we can look at it. We've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that's good. That's what we wanted. So now cleaning this all up, the 5 and the 2, that's going to give us now for y prime 10 sine of 5x cosine of 5x. And we can leave our answer like that. We don't need to oversimplify anything with some identities or anything like that. Looking at this last one here, we've got cosine or cotangent cubed, so I'm going to pull that out. So y equals parentheses cotangent of 7x cubed quantity cubed. So my derivative will be I bring the 3 down, cotangent of 7x cubed 
quantity squared. The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared of 7x cubed. And then I've got to multiply this by the derivative of 7x cubed. Get some room over here. And that would be 21x squared. And again, double checking here, do I have four different factors? I got one, two, three, and four. I'm good with that now. And then cleaning this up, the 21, the negative, and the three, that would be a negative 30, or excuse me, negative 63. So I'll have a negative 63. Get my pen back here. Negative 60. 3x squared cotangent squared of 7x cubed times cosecant of 7x cubed. So there are some quick examples of type 1, type 2, and type 3 trig derivatives. Now, I wanted to put together for you because it always shows up some combinations with either the chain or the product rule. So this first one right here, we have a product rule. We have two things that are being multiplied here, the 3x times the sine of 2x squared. So there's my first and there's my second. So when we go through this, we're going to have, for the product rule, remember how that starts here, that's first, so 3x, derivative of the second. That's a type 1 trig derivative. So the derivative of the second, derivative of sine, is cosine of 2x squared times 4x. And again, the 4x came from the derivative of the angle plus the second sine of 2x squared times the derivative of the first, which is 3. And then just cleaning this up, I'll wind up with um, that 3x and the 4x will be 12x squared cosine of 2x squared plus 3 sine of 2x squared. That'll be our derivative using the product rule there. And then for the last one here, we've got a quotient rule. Uh, so we have a bottom and a top there. So starting the quotient rule, that's the bottom, tangent 5x, times the derivative of the top, which is 2 minus the top, 2x, derivative of the bottom. So that's a type 1 right there. So derivative of tangent is secant squared 5x, and then times 5 for the derivative of the angle. And this is all over the bottom squared, so tangent squared of 5x. And then all you have to do to clean this up is put all the coefficients out in front there. So we're going to have 2 tangent 5x minus 10x secant squared of 5x all over tangent squared of 5x. And there's our derivative using the quotient rule. So hopefully that will help you out here doing the different types of uh, trig derivatives with the chain rule.